Up first tonight, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore are expected to land at Ellington Airport in Houston any moment now after returning home from their nine month stay on the International Space Station. And now the focus is getting them reacclimated to Earth. Everyone celebrated their safe splash down off the coast of Florida this afternoon, which you watched live right here on KHOU 11. It was really something to see a stunning sight, even as dolphins swam around the space capsule before it was hoisted onto a nearby boat. We have team coverage tonight, including a look back at why their eight day visit was extended so long. But first, Amanda Henderson was the only local TV reporter at the Johnson Space Center as that splashdown happened. And she joins us live at Ellington, where those astronauts are landing soon. Amanda. Yes, they are expected to be landing right here behind me any moment. And if we do see them within the time that we're on air, we're definitely going to let you know about it. But my goodness, it was just so emotional being in the Johnson Space Center today. Everybody cheering, clapping. There were even some happy tears, myself included. I mean, guys, it was such a moment. This whole ordeal has been just a roller coaster of when will these astronauts be home? And today we finally got our answer. Cheers erupting in the Johnson Space Center as Crew 9 safely re-entered Earth. Nick, Alexander, Butch and Sonny, welcome home. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams spent more than 280 days in space after their original spacecraft dealt with multiple mechanical issues. Moments after they were seen smiling and waving after a safe splashdown, NASA officials gathered to speak with us about the nine month ordeal. Turn today marks the uh, successful completion of the Crew 9 mission. All four speakers thanking SpaceX, Boeing, and those who supported Sonny and Butch. The duo completed nearly 1,000 research hours, including deploying the first wooden satellite and maintenance to the International Space Station. Can you talk a little bit about how when you realized that they were going to be up there for longer than the intended time frame, they were able to transition into getting that invaluable research started. Even before they launched, because we knew they were flying on a test mission, we provided all the training for the stay on ISS that they would need to be a long duration crew member. A long duration mission, finally at its end. Their families are the ones that really, you know, kudos to them for uh, being resilient. And the reason for that comment is because the astronauts were actually quarantined last April, so it's been nearly a year since their family, friends, loved ones have even seen them in person. And once they land here at Ellington, they're going to be taken over to the Johnson Space Center where officials will take them in for observation. We're live at Ellington. I'm Amanda Henderson, KHOU 11 News. That is going to be some reunion. Absolutely. Um, Amanda, thanks so much.